Welcome back to Kali Yoga Center. My name is Michelle. I'm here with John. We're Kali team members here today to show you headstand shirsasana. Let's get started. Let's do it. All right, head stand. All right, John, we're going to do a traditional headstand today. Um, so let's get started. This is my one of my favorite things to do because it just it feels good and it's helpful. So let's find the spot that where your head touches the ground. So bring the heel of your hand right to your eyebrows and then where your longest finger is, that's the spot where you place the head on the ground. Yeah. All right. The the yeah, this is a, like an important part of the head too. Um, yeah, there's lots I can say about it, and I want to get right to the pose. So another video coming. <laughs> All right. All right, John. So now that you have the spot, um, start in like down on your knees, and then let's get the position for your hands. So bring your forearms to the mat, and then bring your hands together. Yeah, so like that sort of gives you an idea. Maybe bring in more like wrists to elbows. Yeah, okay, good. Now, unfurl your hands. Yeah, and then interlace your hands together. So there's a few different ways you can do your hands here. John just interlaced his hands just like that, and that's what I tend to do. You can also... right up to the heels of your hands. Which do you like to do? Together. Together. All right. So now he knows the width of his elbows and he's got his foundation set with his hands. Now he's going to place the spot that we identified right on the floor. And so you come up into like a down, half down dog. So yeah, down dog. And then got your head and then walk from here. Do you feel your head firm? Hug your, press your Elbows into the mat and hug elbows towards center line. Hugging into center line where raw, true power lies. All right, he's got his drishti set and begins to walk his feet up until his hips stack over his shoulders. Yeah, looking good. So from here, he's got the earth energy from his forearms, his hands, the base of his hands, and somewhat with the top of his head. Rooting down, he gets... Legs strong, muscle to bone. So you can just lift up one leg or you can bring it, the knee into the chest. You want to do that? Let's, let's do knee to chest. So bring knee into chest. Yeah, then the other knee into the chest. Yeah. And then from there, you can unhinge. You can stop here. Yeah, then knees over hips. The tendency here is for the low ribs to start to blow out. Hug them in. And then tailbone to the heavens, heels to the heavens. Unfurl the legs. Mm -hmm. and breathe big here. Spread the toes out so I know your feet are alive. Feet and hands give a good indicator of how strong the core is. If the feet are fully alive, you can have access to this whole core train. Salamba, he's supported. Sheer Sasana, head stand. The king of yoga poses. Uh, my yoga teacher, his mom did this into her 90s. This is a great practice to, you can also do it up against the wall. It's a great daily practice just to get a brand new perspective. And it's like turn your whole world upside down and see what you discover. All right, John, now coming out of the pose, as important as coming in, come down slow. However, the best way you can come down slow and easy. Add in the hinge to the hips, the core strength, the earth is still available. Yeah. Hug the low ribs in, support the whole core girdle. 
Yeah, and then take child's pose. Just mm -hmm. you feel the new energy available after like turning yourself upside mm. down. What a practice, like being willing to take one thing and turn it on its head and see what's available. Good work, John. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in today at Kaleo Center. We're so glad you're here. Come back to see us. Peace out.